The Indians will receive J, uh, J, Grove wearing the red tops and gray pants, red helmets. Kick is taken by Dirk Cage and returns at 21 yards out to the 36 yard line. Jimmy Hawkins back to pass and incomplete, almost intercepted, but incomplete. Second down and 10 from the 36. Handoff to Lloyd Setzer, gain of one. Makes it third down and nine from the 37. And Setzer, one yard gain, fourth down and eight. And Dirk Catron will punt. A 31 yard punt returned by Rusty Frazier, one yard. Ball at the 32, handoff to Joe Spichalski, loss of three yards. Spychalski around the left end, picks up nine. Third down and four from the 38, Joe Spychalski loses two yards. Fourth down and six, penalty against Stillwell for not having a mouthpiece in. Fourth down and one, the punter John Griffith drops the ball, and now he has to run with it, and the big punter is finally brought down. Loss of 10 yards, still has the 31 yard line. 8 minutes, 23 seconds to play in the first quarter. Hand off to Lloyd Setzer, gain of 9. Second down to 1 from the 22. Inside handoff to Brian Muskrat, gain of 4 yards. First down at the 18. Lloyd Setzer, 1 yard gain. Second down 9 from the 17 of Grove. Setzer for 4 yards. Third down and 5. From the 13, Jimmy Hawkins, play fake, and Mark Wilson, Stillwell Indian touchdown, 13 yards, diving catch by Mark Wilson, the sophomore. Number 72, Darren Hummingbird will kick. And the kick is good, and Stillwell leads with 6 minutes, 24 seconds to play in the first quarter. They lead the Grove Ridge Runners 7 to nothing. Kickoff is taken by Joe Spychalski, and returned 15 yards from the 18 to the 33. First down and 10 there for Grove. Joe Spychalski, gain of 4. Second down and 6 from the 37. Spychalski, 7 yard gain. First down for Grove at the 44-yard line. Spychowski loses a yard. Second 11 from the 43. Pitch to Spychowski. Left-handed thrower incomplete intended for the quarterback, Keith Cooper. And Keith Cooper tries it himself this time, and it's incomplete. Fourth down 11 from the 43. The big old Grove punter will get it off this time, John Griffith. A punt to the 31 yard line. Victor Payton returns 13 yards. Still has it, 3 minutes 50 seconds to play in the first quarter. At their own 44 yard line and a fumble on the play. Ridge runners say they have it and they do. From the 44 of Stillwell, Spychowski for 2 yards, second down 8 from the 42. Quarterback Keith Cooper loses a yard. He is wrestled down, third down and nine at the 43. Cooper's pass incomplete as Brian Muskrat flies in and takes the receiver's head off. Punt by Griffith, not returned. Two minutes, 18 seconds left. Stewell has it at their own 22 yard line. Leading seven to nothing, handoff to Lloyd Setzer, around the end, left end, 13-yard gain, first down at the 35 for Stillwell. Setzer picks up three yards, second down seven from 38. Give to Brian Muskrat, gain of only one, third down and six from the 39. Flags fly on this play, minus 10-yard penalty against Stillwell, third down and 16 from the 29. Hawkins back to pass. Hawkins throwing an incomplete good defensive play by the Ridge Runner defensive back. Dirk Catron will punt. Ball is down at the 44 yard line of Stillwell. 
15 yard punt by Katrin and Rusty Frazier carried for one and this is uh, Keith Cooper carries for five yards that's the end of the first quarter with the score still well seven Grove nothing Spichowski no gain fourth down and four and Spichowski gets the first down penalty on this play against Grove minus five yards backs it up to the 39 yard line and Keith Cooper will be intercepted by Keith Hudson. 14-yard return for Hudson. Down to the 34, 10-10 ten, ten to play before halftime. Still a lead, 7 to nothing. Hand off to Brian Muskrat. Gain of 5 from the 39-yard line now. Pitch out to Lloyd Setzer. Setzer finally brought down after a 19-yard gain. Whistles stop the play. Penalty against Stillwell, minus five yards. Pushes it back to the 47. First down and 15. Setzer carries for four yards. From the 43, Lloyd Setzer again. A two-yard gain. From the 41, Setzer carries for one yard. And on fourth down, Jimmy Hawkins to Chad Cachin. Only three yards, and Grove takes over at their own 37-yard line. We have a new quarterback in the game. It's freshman Richard Frazier. He gets six yards, and then the penalty on the late hit. Frazier carries for one yard this time. As the quarterback, the starting quarterback, Cooper, has been injured. And we have the freshman playing in his first varsity game, Richard Frazier, in at quarterback. He carried for 14 on the last play. This is Spichowski for three yards. From the 26-yard line of Stillwell, Frazier carries for four yards. Third down at the 22-yard line, Joe Spichowski for five yards. And a first down. Ball at the 17-yard line, Spichowski for two yards. From the 15-yard line now, Frazier ahead for three yards. Third down and five, Frazier, Richard Frazier. One-yard gain, fourth down and four and a bad pitch and the pitch is recovered by Ray Means loss of four on the play Means recovers handoff to Lloyd Setzer loss of one on the play second eleven from the fourteen Setzer picks up four this time third down and eight incomplete pass by Jimmy Hawkins fourth down and seven a bad snap goes over Dirk Catron's head and out of the end zone it's a safety actually Dirk fell on it in the end zone it's a safety Stillwell will kick off now from the 20 and they now lead 7 to 2 the free kick is returned for 9 yards by Joe Spichowski Grove has it at their own 42 yard line Richard Frazier running the option tackle for four yards 46 pass is intercepted by Jack Garrett two minutes to play in the half still a leading seven to two Jimmy Hawkins passes incomplete second ten from the 32 Jimmy Hawkins to Brian Muskrat gain of five third down and five from the 37 Jimmy Hawkins to Mark Wilson. Ten yard gain in the first down into Grove territory at the 47 yard line. Or it's still in Stillwell territory, I'm sorry. Uh, Setzer carries for five yards. Now we're into Grove territory. 35 seconds to play in the first half. Hawkins' pass is intercepted by Robert Spichowski, Joe's older brother and a clipping against Grove. 23 seconds left to play in the half and Richard Frazier carries for two yards and that's the end of the first half with the score of the Stillwell Indians 14 and the Grove Ridge Runners 2.
Stillwell kicking off here to begin the second half. Joe Spichowski deep for the Ridge Runners returns at 10 yards out to the 27 yard line. Hand off to Rusty Frazier and Rusty picks up four yards out to the 31 yard line. Richard Frazier the freshman is picked off by the sophomore Victor Payton number 11. He returns it to the 29 yard line. Jimmy Hawkins completes the pass to Mark Wilson, 23-yard gain, first and goal at the 6. Hands off to Lloyd Setzer, 2-yard gain, and Hawkins is intercepted again by Robert Spichowski, his second pick of the night. He returns this one 68 yards all the way down to the Indian 34-yard line. Richard Frazier picks up nothing on the first carry. Second down and 10 from the 34. Joe Spichowski doesn't get any blocks and loses three yards on the play. Third down and 13 now. And Joe Spichowski is intercepted by Victor Payton, his second Oski of the night. 8-0-1 to play in the third quarter. Hand off to Lloyd Setzer, eight yards into growth territory from the 46. Victor, Victor, Lloyd Setzer for six yards. First down at the 40 of Grove. Penalty against Stillwell, minus five yards from the 45 yard line now. Hand off to Lloyd Setzer, gain of six down to the Grove 39. Jimmy Hawkins firing the completion to a wide open Mark Wilson 23 yards and the first down down to the 16 yard line. Hand off to Lloyd Setzer. Three yard gain second and seven from the 13. Setzer again. Nothing doing this time. No gain. Third down and seven from the 13. Penalty against Stewell on this play. Third down and 12 from the 18. Hawkins back to pass and pass interference called on Grove automatic first down 10 yard penalty first and goal at the 8 yard line hand off to Lloyd Setzer 1 yard gain second goal from the 7 pitch to Setzer 4 yards down to the 3 third and goal from the 3 pitch to Setzer he gets a block from Muskrat and he's into the end zone for the Stillwell Indian touchdown. Three yard run by Lloyd Setzer. Darren Hummingbird on to attempt the extra point. The kick is up and good and Stillwell leads Grove 14 to 2 with 3.50 to play in the third quarter. Ten yard penalty against Grove, illegal block. Ball at the thirteen. Joe Spichowski for three yards. And Frazier for minus one yard. And a punt for Grove. Victor Payton returns. 16-yard punt return for Victor. 143 to play in the third quarter. Hand off to Lloyd Setzer. 9-yard gain down to the 29. Second and one. Hand off to Brett Gray. He can't get anything. Third down and one. And Brian Muskrat loses the yard. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Still well 14. Grove 2. Fourth down and two. Lloyd Setzer carries for two yards in the first down at the Grove 28-yard line. Pitch back to Brett Gray, gain of two. Second down and eight from the 26. Hawkins incomplete. Third down and eight from the 26. Jimmy Hawkins 
Back to pass, and he is intercepted by Shane Berry, number twenty, one, number 35. And he fumbles the football, and Stillwell recovers. But there is a penalty on the play. Moves it to the 42-yard line. Sets her carries for five yards. To the 47, sets her for one yard. To the 48. Penalty against Stillwell. Illegal procedure. Pushes the ball back to the Stillwell 43-yard line. Hand off to Lloyd Setzer. Gain of three. Fourth down, and don't ask me how many yards to go for the first. Kickoff by... Kickoff. Punt by Dirk Cajun. Is downed at the 17-yard line. Joe Spichowski carries for three yards. Eight minutes to play in the ballgame. From the 20-yard line now, Richard Frazier, the quarterback, keeps on the option. Gain of four. From the 24, Joe Spichowski, a five-yard gain. First down from the 29-yard line. Richard Frazier loses a yard on the, on the carry. Frazier again loses two yards this time. Third down and 13. Frazier loses five yards. Fourth and 18. Penalty against Grove, five yards. Fourth and 23. Punt fielded by Payton and downed at the 40-yard line. No yardage on the return. 4.50 to play in the ballgame. Hand off to Lloyd Setzer. Six yards on the carry. Out to the 46, second down and four. Sets her four yards. Four yards. <laughs> no gain on the play. Third down and four from the 46-yard line. Jimmy Hawkins' pass is complete to Bruce Yandale. Eleven yards in the first down. Hawkins incomplete, second and ten. Incomplete pass. Third down now for Stillwell. Hawkins to Bruce Yandale again. Yandale caught two passes all year long. They were both on this drive. 14-yard gain on that play. At the Grove 29-yard line, intercepted for the third time tonight by Robert Spichowski. His third interception. He returns it 22 yards out to the 27-yard line. Joe Spachowski, Spychowski, gain of six. Second and four from the 33. Pass interference called against Stillwell. First down at the 47-yard line. Brent Maples takes the option from Frazier. Eight-yard gain. From the 45, this is raining here tonight, too. This rain most of the year. Option pitch to Spychowski. Gain of only two. Frazier's pass is complete to Bo Cantrell. Nine-yard gain at the 35. Frazier loses one yard. We're in the fourth quarter. Complete to Brent Maples, gain a loss of four yards on the play, and Stillwell takes over. Jimmy Hawkins kneels down to one knee, and the Indians have defeated the Grove Red Runners. The final score, the Stillwell Indians 14 and Grove 2.